Apple has a really cool framework for simulating physics and it's the UI kit dynamic. Most people don't really take advantage of this or just don't know where to use this. So I'm going to show you now where I use it in my own app. It's a learning app. And one of the exercises to improve learning is instead of just learning something by heart, is it grouping something into different categories. So in case you need to memorize something, it's very good. So every of these items you can drag and drop. Maybe this is a little bit hard to start, so I'm just going to go with the very small one. You can pick one up and it's just dropping down if you release it. I can drop it in these areas and it's going to the center of this name. So I can also tap here and change it. Medical. Then I can drop something here. I can also add more categories. And I can add this here. I can also remove one of these categories. And then these items need to be dropping again. So there's a lot of there's a lot of animation. Without the UI kit dynamic animator, this would be a lot, lot harder. And I'm just going to break down some of these things. The glue that puts everything together is the UI dynamic animator. And you can add a lot of behaviors to this one animator. For example, the one that I used for dropping all these elements is a gravity behavior. Then, in order not for the views to just disappear into nothingness, I added a collision behavior. Well, actually, I added multiple. For example, here, if I drop this, these views collide with each other. You can also get a delegate callback and also play a sound, like an explosion sound when they collide. But they're also supposed to not leave my view here. There's some bugs if this included when the keyboard comes up, unfortunately. Or when I add this here, to one of these blocks. Each of these blocks has a different gravity field. It's actually uh, one of these UI field behaviors. This is where I had to restrain myself not to get too nuts uh, because, um, what should I say? I studied physics. I liked theoretical mechanics. I did. It was just crazy that I don't need to write any simulations. It just works out of the box. So you can have some attachment behavior, attaching to things. You can have this collision behavior, this field behaviors, push behavior. This is also, I use this also here. Um, when I add one of these blocks in order to move this faster, I had to push them. They mostly move to the same position because I moved the field. I mean, I changed the field in between. And this is and this field behavior. So you can have some drag fields, which are like some glue or some honey. When you move, would want to move something through, it makes it really slow. You can also use some electric fields, make some of your views electrically charged and some not, or magnetically behaving. The ones I used here is this radial gravity field with a position, so this is the center of gravity. Um, there was also a vortex, but obviously a, a vortex didn't make sense in this context. So the center of gravity is in this center of my um, bar here, which you can see. If I drag them, they always go back to the center. And this center is here, so it moves there. So it's like um, self-organizing and be they're also self-assembling because obviously they cannot overlap. Uh, since I said here they are colliding. I also added a little bit of elasticity because when you drop them, it just jumps a little bit. I did not add, uh, I tried to do rotation things, but then things got a little bit difficult and things moved a little bit too much. One thing, uh, one funny physics effect is uh, adding, creating a singularity. You don't need to know what it is, but it's a lot of fun. So I just need to remove here. I had to, um, in order to not have the singularity, I had to add a collision behavior around this block buttons on the top. So I'm just going to remove this. Okay, we are back. And now if I drop one here, it's not going to collide with there. Sorry, <laughs> it's still funny. Um, so when, <laughs> <laughs> I 
this is um, as you would call it unexpected behavior basically i have here a central a point gravity center of my um similar to the earth center of mars i defined a center for my gravity field which is around here and usually a point source gravity field doesn't exist and usually you wouldn't these elements wouldn't be able to collide with it but there is the um, since the power goes with one over r if you allow them to go so close to have r zero to the center a force becomes infinity that's what that's why you see it when it goes in the center this views feel a huge field <laughs> and they start to jump okay in this case it actually disappeared because this gravity this physics behavior only is applied calculated every frame and if you were if your views happen to be just in between two frame calculations outside of your main area then they're just gone so anyway this is probably not the best this is not real world physics, it's just a funny effect that you can have with simulations. Personally, I think you, dynamics behavior can be super cool and very funny with a lot more animations. And animations that are actually much more physics based, UIKit Dynamic has a lot of potential to do some crazy and funny animations for making things move and disappear and plop up wherever you want. <laughs>